What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the shop. I hope you're all doing well. Now today I want to build a lumbar slash timber slash wood rack, call it whatever you will. It needs to be up there off the floor and out of the way. And I'm going to be using something that I use all the time in my day job as an electrician. So it's going to be super strong, super simple and quick to put together. And if you've not seen this before, then my friend, the world is about to change for you. So let's jump on in and have a look. Let's do it. Right guys, this is what we're going to be using. This is called Unistrut. Now this stuff is used the world over by every electrician, plumber, pipe fitter, any engineering crowd, air conditioning guys, refrigeration engineers, basically anybody who needs to hang something from a ceiling, bolt something to a wall or stand something on a floor, suspend things in midair. This is the stuff you use. It has a million attachments. You can literally build anything you want out of it. It's unbelievably strong, unbelievably useful stuff. You can even get trolleys that will run in it so you can use it as a track system. So any frame, any table, any rack system you want to build, you can build it with this stuff. It all just bows together like a big Meccano set. Super simple and super strong. And like I say, you can even weld it if you want. So this is what we're going to be using. It's just nuts, bolts, and these spring nuts that sit inside in the Unistrut itself. It comes slotted, solid, deep, or shallow. Whatever you want, and like I say, this stuff is used the world over by almost every single trade who works in commercial and industrial settings. Um, I guarantee you, you've seen this be stuff before if you think you haven't. Just look at any air conditioning unit up on a wall, it'll be mounted with this stuff. Next time you see trunking or conduit or tray or rack system above your head, anywhere, take a look up. I guarantee you it's hung from the ceiling with this stuff. So um, this is what we're gonna be using. All we have to do is cut this to length, bolt it together and screw it to the wall. So let's do that now and let's get this rack built. Right, so here's the plan. Rack is gonna go up here on the wall. I'm gonna keep it up in the air. It's just gonna be two shelves long. The beauty of this unit struts, you can add to it whenever you want. If you feel you need more stuff, just bolt it up. No problem whatsoever. I'm just gonna essentially make two shelves. I wanna keep them up just underneath these elbow or these corner brackets here. So it's gonna sit about here. It's gonna sit about 16 inches off the wall. I'm gonna keep it about 14 foot long. So I have a couple of 14 foot long boards and uh, they're the kind of longest things I would have in here. So a bit of maple, a bit of walnut, and then just all the offcuts. So we'll put our uprights. Let's get back to a metric. We're gonna go 400 centers for the first three or four, and then we'll go 800 centers for the last two. So we'll keep the rack nice and small for our smaller stuff this side, and then we'll lengthen um, our uprights because we don't need to pack it all together down this end. So the longer stuff can sit across the rack, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, it will very shortly. So um, I need to clear this space now so we can do a bit of work here. Okay, I'm going to use the shallow stuff for my uprights to go onto my wall and I'll use the deeper stuff then for my actual brackets to come out and hold my timber. So this is just some leftover unistrut I have from a job and it's just a few offcuts. It comes in three meter lengths and six meter lengths and uh, basically you'll get this stuff in any engineering store, any electrical wholesalers, any plumbing place will probably stock it too. So you can get this everywhere really and it's used like I say the world over so there isn't a continent on earth that you can't get uni strut. Right, so um, my uprights are gonna be 600. So I'm gonna cut seven of those 600 long. All you need for this job really is a hacksaw, a measuring tape, and uh, a set of sockets just to bolt this together. I'm gonna to be using my grinder because I have one and it's quick and easy to cut with. So um, yeah, let's get marking this up. And like I say, the beauty of this thing as well is we can always add to it, so. You can build it as you need it. So we're just gonna mark everything at 600. Nice. So we get one, two, 
three, four pieces out of this. That's all our uprights cut. We've cut them at 600. Now we're going to cut our actual bowers for our rack and I'm going to cut all them at 500. So I'm going to chop up all the deep stuff and get as many 500s out of this as I can. So I'll do that and then we'll get back to you. Okay, that's all our unistrut cut up. So we have our 500s and our 600s. So our shallow stuff is going to go on the wall to be the uprights for our rack. These are the arms essentially of our rack. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wood screw this to the wall with two inch tens. So I want to drill four holes in every one of these, including the slotted stuff. Otherwise I have to use washers with the slotted stuff and it's easier just to drill a hole because I'm just going to be wood screwing it straight to the wall anyway. So that's next. And we don't have to be exact about this. Just get four holes in every one and we should be good. I have my laser set up, that's why the lights are off. The camera probably won't pick it up, but my electrical trunking is going to continue all the way to the end eventually, so it stops here. So I just have my laser set to the end of my trunking, and then I've marked for my first upright, come 200 from the end wall, and then it's 400, 400, 400, and then the last two are going to be 800, so the longer lens can sit across them. And so I'm just going to screw these now, put them up to my laser, level them and screw these straight to the wall. Um, there's nothing more to it than that really. Right, just give you a quick demonstration on how this stuff goes together then. These spring nuts, you use them with the uni strut. Just go in, twist them, and they lock like that. These are the brackets we're going to be using. Now there's a million different brackets available for uni strut. There's every type, every shape, for almost every application. This is what I'm going to be using. So essentially, you pop in your spring nuts. We'll be using two on the uprights and two on the arms. Bracket goes on like that. Bolt and washer. Just thread that into your spring nut, that tightens that on there. Then we get around and repeat the process here. So two nuts on this side, two bolts on this side, two spring nuts, and uh, that's essentially how we make our frame. So quick and easy, it's essentially a Meccano set. And like I say, there's a million different brackets available for this thing. So you can make it any way you wish, and any length, any size you wish. So um, let's get on that now. Okay, I have my laser set up again. You guys probably can't see it. It's just where my first lot of brackets are going to go, so I'm going to fix to all my uprights, and then I fix my arms to my uprights. So it's just really just going to bolt them straight on along there, just in line with the laser that I have the whole way across. Um, so I'm just going to fix in the spring nuts and bolt it up. It is literally that simple. It's just quite a mechano set. Now, there are two different types of spring heights. There you go. Um, this is for the deep stuff. There is springs available for the shallow stuff, but if you're using a combination of both, just buy the one set of springs, take your snips, and... There you go, nice and simple. That'll go into your shallow uni strut now. So uh, yeah, let me crack on with that and uh, we'll get back to you.
Right, there we go. All our brackets are on and all leveled. Now there's nothing left for me to do except just bolt on the arms. And I have the spring nuts already in the arms. They're ready to go. So it's just a case of bolt these on. Okay, there we go. That's as much unistrut as I have now. So we have a top rack finished and the bottom rack, I've just got three bars on it. But you can always add to this according as you need it. Um, I'm not gonna put too much racking in here because I don't wanna take up too much space. So this is a good start. Now just to finish off, there is little white end caps that go into the end of the unistrut just to um, cover up little sharp edges just in case you hit your head off them. That kind of thing, it's just to make them safe. So I'm gonna cap in these. Right, we are all done. One lumber timber storage rack. Now let's just get the timber on it and see how it goes. Okay, there we go. It's a simple lumber, wood, timber, whatever you want to call it. Unistrut storage rack. Um, that stuff is great. If you've not seen Unistrut before, there's a million different fixings for it, like I've said already. Um, you could build this entire rack system floor standing if you wanted. It does come with feet too that you can bolt onto it. So you can actually make an entire rack system from it. You can hang it from the ceiling, bolt it to the floor, bolt it to the walls. You can run tracks and you can run trolleys in those tracks. Google Unistrut, you'll see all the fixtures and fittings for it. Um, in, I'd say everything that's on that wall there came in at under 100 euros. So I think Unistrut is in around 16 euros, I think, um, trade price for a three meter length, something like that. Um, and it also comes in six meter lengths. But uh, yeah, it's great stuff, just bolts together. It's super strong and extremely modular. So you can add and take away to your rack system. I don't think you'd build it cheaper with timber. You certainly wouldn't build it as strong and it wouldn't be as modular and as changeable. It's, that's essentially a Meccano set. So you, like I say, you can add and you can take away from it too. So yeah, that's my new lumber storage rack, guys. I will be adding timber to it as we go along. I want to acclimatize all the timber I'm gonna use for my workbench up on that now. Leave it sit for a few weeks in the shop just to, so it adjusts to the moisture levels and the temperatures in the shop so it doesn't bend or bow or buckle when I go to build my workbench. So I can leave it up there now. It's up out of the way and I still have, I'm still plenty of room here to work on my assembly table. I'm not gonna be hitting my head off it. So that's it. Hopefully you found some useful information here. Hopefully if you've not seen Unistruck before, you might, you know, you could use it for your own shop. It's great stuff. So yeah, I'm starting to ramble now. So it's time to shut up and get out of here. As always guys, hit like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Take it easy.